the Narcissist Unfiltered One. This one I would say they tried to gear more towards medium to deep skin tones, but it thoroughly works for us pale girls. Just thoroughly works. I have on several of the shades in here. I will swatch all of these for you. These are incredibly nicely pigmented. Not hard, not dry, etc. Not streaky. Even these deeper or brighter tones, not streaky at all. These top three here, the bottom three here are shimmery, and then these here are more of a matte finish. So I have on today this color, this color, a dot of this color, and this color. We have a color called Take Over. I love this. So what I did with this today, this is a shimmery brown. What I did with this today is I, I put it on over my bronzer. I think it makes a fantastic either bronzer topper, cheek topper, cheek warmer upper, or just on its own. Look at how pretty this is. It is a shimmering bronze. Now, um, I just, I really think you could leave, use this as a standalone bronzer. It is a bit shimmery, so don't put it on too heavy. Next over is Me First. This is a light peach, and it is a shimmer. It's a me. one is right there. Barely see it on me, but I think it's beautiful. I think I could get some use out of this, especially with a certain peach tone eyeshadow palette. This would be a pretty blush topper. Say if you've got a peach blush on that's got more towards the pink side, and then you could top it with this and make it really sheeny and shiny. Next we have Watch Me. That is a very pretty highlight. I have this on today as my highlighter. This is a yellow gold sunshiny highlight. Just a lemony gold, not a flaky highlighter at all. Not a glittery or flaky highlighter at all. I have that on today and I love it. So across the bottom here, we have the wild one, Exhibit A. I can't really see me wearing this one, I don't think. Okay, let me try to sheer it out a little bit so it's not so crazy. It is a bright burnt orange and it's matte. I don't think I can wear that, but I think a lot of people can pull that off very easily. Anyone who's even slightly deeper toned skin than me. Next to that is Chic. Chic. Chic is a deep plum matte. Like a dark lavender, really. I do have just a bit of that on right in here. And then my favorite, well, I don't know if it's my favorite. I really like this one and this one. But this is my third favorite <laughs> out of the palette. This is just a regular matte colored brush. What a beautiful deep mauve brown right there. There are your color choices. The, co the name of this one is out there. So, I love these. I do have this on as my all-over blush color today. Let me show you how I applied these beauties. So I started out bronzed and contoured already. This bronzer color in this palette, I'm calling it a bronzer color, it's called Takeover. I don't know, I think you can just wear that by itself. Put it on very thin, put it on very lightly. It is a very natural color. It's not very orangey, it's not very um, too deep in the bronze. It is just, I think, going to make a perfect, beautiful bronzer color for a lot of people. Also, I think um, deeper skins could use this as a highlighter. Gives it a subtle light sheen. I think it's just beautiful. I'm going to be using this every day on top of my bronzer. Then I went across my entire cheek area very lightly with the color called Out There. That is the beautiful, beautiful brown mauve. It's a deep color. It is gorgeous. And then I took the color called Chic and sort of did just the apple of my cheek with that. I don't know if you can see that too well, but I think those two colors work really well together, um, Chic and Out There. And then the fun began with the color called Watch Me. That is a very yellow, sunshine yellow highlighter. I used that today. I love this. It is so smooth, non-sparkly. I mean, I have highlighters, yellow gold highlighters that 
to me are just very glittery and very fly away. This one is not doing that. None of the highlighters in the two unfiltered palettes tend to be glittery or fly away. They tend to, to stick to your skin and be very smooth looking. So see, the Narcissist One can be worn on us pale girls. I really like the color of this, even though I hate orange. This is just an amazing looking orange. This is a bright, pretty orange. How about that? You do get a big mirror in these. And see my previous video on the Unfiltered 2. Gorgeous, gorgeous $59 blush palette. I think it is worth it because so many of the colors are wearable. I don't see me wearing that one called Exhibit A, but the rest of the colors are extremely wearable. Same for the Unfiltered 2. All of the colors in there were extremely wearable to me. They're all very buildable. All of these colors have a lot of color and pigment to them, but you can build the lighter ones up to make them more visible. I think these palettes are an absolute steal. Let me give you a sneak preview. I'm doing an end of the year best of 2016 best products of 2016 videos. These two unfiltered palettes are in the running for that. Love those. Let me show you an ancient palette that I have from NARS. This is one of their blush palettes from years ago. This is, it's called the Dan Mari number 9966 All About Cheek palette. This has six colors in it like the others. This thing is just ancient. I mean, it is ancient. It has orgasm and it also has super orgasm. You know, a couple of their, their just top, top sellers. Color called Sin. It has a Casino, which is a very uh, popular sort of contour or bronzer. This is how they used to do their sort of holiday palettes, blush palettes. They used to do them like more spread apart and they're kind of an all over the place mixture. There's not, um, they didn't do two different palettes in other words. They didn't do a medium to deep and they didn't do a lighter skin tone palette. I think they have really, really revolutionized their world here with these two different palettes for the different skin tones. So Narcissist Unfiltered 1 or 2 makes a great gift. Okay, I have a revolutionary new lip product to share with you guys. The Marc Jacobs Le Marc Liquid Lip Cream. So, I got one of these colors. I love the texture and the formula on these so much. I ordered two more. This formula is like nothing else I've ever, ever encountered. Let me show you what it looks like, first of all, on my lips. I put this on earlier today while I was putting on my makeup and let it just sit and soak in because it is so moisturizing and it makes your lips feel so nice. It is so weightless that I just sort of let it sit there and moisturize and hydrate my lips while I was doing my makeup, even though I didn't really feel like I wanted to wear this for the day because I didn't feel like it kind of went with my, my berry colored eyes very well. I am not in love, in love with this shade, but I've ordered a couple of other shades and I will show you those when I get them. The thing about these is the formula. The formula feels completely different than any other liquid lipstick you've ever experienced. It feels more like an actual melted lipstick going on your lips than any kind of, it's not a lacquer, it's not a gloss, it's not anything like that. It feels like they melted a lipstick and poured it in the tube. It is extremely creamy and extremely smooth. It really shocked me because I was expecting this to be a regular lacquer style. This color is called Hot Cocoa, and what I do like about these is that they seem to be all nudes. They have a range of colors. They just have a few colors. They don't have a whole lot in this line, but they seem to be all nudes. So Hot Cocoa, number 460. This is a bit too, I don't know, orangey for me. However, I love this formula. I want them to make more shades and I want to wear these like all the time. So going on, they are quite thick and opaque. You have to feel it. It is totally different. It is totally like a melted lipstick in a tube. I'm about to do a video on Beautylish. I have never used the site called Beautylish before, but they're having a special promotion that's going on right now, and I will tell you all about that in my upcoming video. I did receive a, an eyeshadow palette from them from By Terry. It is smoky, and it is neutral, and it is natural, and the consistency of these is amazing, amazing. I'll be showing you that. I will eventually get around to showing you these Natasha Denona Star Liners. I've tried these out. I have a lot of thoughts on these. So I will be sharing those with you soon. I'll see you in a 
soon in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching.